Hi, this is Kerry. I just got my Anvil basket catch adapter brackets for 10.5 gallon. And what I did here is I took my basket out and I lined these little feet that come in a package up and put them on uh, with some duct tape. Extremely sticky duct tape. And the instructions tell you to put these just below the other the uh, feet that are on there so I just kind of winged it I did uh, do a dry fit seemed to fit well so that's why I put these on the uh, tape on and then once I got the tape on I marked with a uh, a little magic marker little holes in there you can see it's green so that's what uh, this is all about uh, you do need some stuff here. You're, you're going to need uh, a punch. And then you're going to need a little... It comes with this little wrench for for you. A hammer and all the bolts are included. You're going to need a drill set. Um, we got the 1 8 inch drill and the 5 32nd. Now the instructions say to go ahead with the 532nds, but I decided to uh, do a little pilot hole and start with the 1 8 and then I could punch out to 532nds, which is the next next one up. And of course you'll need a drill, and I have a Makita, small Makita. There's a, the screw for you. And once you, I got these marked, then uh, I went ahead and I, I'm going to use that little punch and you want to make a little dent into the metal so your bit doesn't slide around. I could have, I should have had a better punch. This is kind of dull. So this took me a little while to get my drill started. I uh, sped this ahead so this is not real time. It, it only took uh, maybe a minute to drill these things out. Okay, so drill the 1 8 inch first, then punch the rest out with the 5 30 seconds. And then uh, you can just, by hand, I just kind of felt in there to, to see if I could get the screws in. Then I got the screws in, I got a screwdriver, got the little wrench, put the wrench inside of the anvil, and now I'm doing the other side. Now the placement for these feet, you can you can just select two of the four um, feet, and you go adjacent to the two of them. And the other two feet, they don't have anything on them. And uh, I really couldn't figure out how this is going to work, but uh, you'll see it here in a minute. It works just fine. Again, this is sped up a little bit. And the next, uh, so I get these screws in. This time I left the tape on. Thank goodness to get the drill. That was, that would recommend that. Don't take the tape, any tape off. Just use it and drill with the tape on. And, and then uh, the same process as the other leg. Just go ahead and uh, you can just feel in there to get the uh, screws in and they got little nuts on the end of it. There's a wash washers that come with them. And then I got, uh, next thing I did is took a magnet. I uh, took this magnet and I swept it on the inside of the basket. I uh, probably don't need to do this because I, even after I did this, I went and just rinsed it out. I didn't, I didn't record the rinsing out. But, you know, I got, I got some uh, burrs in there. You don't want to put that in your in your beer because that would probably hurt the next day. Now get this, um, there the instructions say to make sure that you get everything out of the of the basket before you put it in. Uh, obviously that's what most people would do but uh, they got to put the warnings in there. So this is where I took a little bit of time, I got the uh, the burrs out of the basket 
and then I'm going to cut away here. Uh, actually cut away and, and rinse it out, but I, I didn't feel like I need to record it. But now they're in. This took about 20 minutes, and this is how the finished product looks for you. It, um, I'll be brewing later this week, so I actually have water in my kettle right now, getting ready for a brew on Friday. It, it, uh, I thought it would tip more, and it doesn't. It stands up straight. It's like suspended. So, uh, you know, I'm thinking now maybe I could put the screw on the other side. I don't know. Anyway, it, it works fine. Um, hopefully this will work for you guys. Thanks.